Hello, everyone. Welcome to Catherine's ESL Classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to have part two of the series about cause and effect. Do you remember what cause and effect means? Well, it means what? If you don't remember, it's a relationship between things or events. But today, we are going to have the theme around summer scenes. So what are summer scenes? Would this be a thing or would this be an event? You guessed it. It would be an event. So what would this be about cause and effect? So the cause and effect is a relationship between things or events. And in today's topic, it'll be about summer scenes. So the relationship would be about events, right? Okay, so let's have some fun and let's get started. Okay, how is everyone doing today? Look at this photo. What is going on? We are at the beach. There's beautiful, happy sun. And is the sun drinking something? Oh my goodness, how fun. So thank you again, everyone, for joining Miss Catherine's ESL Classroom on part two series of cause and effect, summer scene and questions. So we get to be a detective. Okay, so let's go over some vocabulary. So do you remember what cause means? So a cause is an action. We use because, source, origin, or beginning. So I'm giving you synonyms. Do you remember what a synonym is? It is using another word. So cause, we can use action, because, source, origin, or beginning. What about effect? What could the synonyms be for effect? Happened, result, reaction, consequence, or outcome. Let's go over these one more time just for fun. Let's do the pronunciation too. So follow me. What does action mean? Happened, result. Reaction, consequence, or outcome. Good job. Scene. What could synonyms be for scene? Gave you a hint in the beginning. Location, site, place, position, or spot. Now notice the spelling of sight, S-I-T-E, not your sight, your eyesight. This is another word for location or scene. You got it. All right. Now, why is this boy so sad? Now, first, let's look at the scene, right? That would be the question, why is this boy so sad? So we looking at the scene here, the picture, he is tired. He dropped the marshmallow. He forgot his toy at home. So question, why is this boy so sad? Okay, so we look at the scene. Another word for scene would be the sight, the events the location, right? So just look at the picture. We see a tent. We see a fire pit. We see a sad boy. We see a sad boy holding a stick. Uh-oh, what do we see on the ground? Okay, what else do we see? Is it night or day? That's right, it's nighttime. Why? Because it's dark. And there's a full moon outside. What is this called? This would be a table or a bench. Okay. This would be what? 
This would be a light source, but what is this light source called? That's right, a lantern. So why is this boy so sad? What do you think is the reason? So think of cause and effect. This boy is so sad because he dropped the marshmallow. Okay, so that would be the effect. The effect would be this boy is so sad because he dropped the marshmallow. Okay, so because, think of cause, he dropped the marshmallow. The effect, the outcome is this boy is so sad. How'd you do? If not, don't worry, I am here for you. And we will just keep playing the summer scenes and questions. So why is she using an umbrella? Okay, it is raining, it is snowing, it is very sunny. Hmm, which one do you think it is? Okay, so think of the question, putting on our thinking cap, or we can be a detective. Why is she using an umbrella? What are we supposed to be doing right now? Looking at the scene, the site, the event, the location. Okay, so what's happening at the scene? Well, we see an umbrella. We see it's sunny outside. We, sh we see that she's at the beach or at the sea. And what is she doing? She's lying down. She has her hat over her eyes. And she looks very relaxed. Well, why is she using an umbrella? Is it it's raining? It is snowing? Or it is very sunny? Think of cause and effect. Okay. Why is she using an umbrella? It is very sunny. So the effect would be she is using an umbrella effect because the cause it is very sunny. How are you doing? Is this fun or what? Great. Why are the children happy? Okay, so the answers could be they have ice cream, they are going on vacation, or they got a new dog. So what are we supposed to do first? First, we question it. Why are the children happy? What is the second thing we do? We do what? Look at the scene. The scene is what? Is the site, the location, right? What's the event? Okay, so we're looking at the scene or we look at the picture. So we see three children and what are they doing? They have ice cream. How do their faces look? Do they look happy, sad, happy? And where are they? Well, it looks like a park, right? Because of all the green, we see all the grass, we see trees. Do you think this is summer or winter? It's summer. Now what's behind them? This looks like an ice cream truck, right? Who loves ice cream? We all scream for ice cream. So why are the children happy? Think of cause and effect, the relationship between the summer events, right? So why are the children happy? Because they have ice cream. Okay, so now you're seeing here, the children are happy is the effect, the outcome. Because, which is the cause, they have ice cream. Woohoo! Why is the family smiling? They got a new car. They are having a picnic. They got a new dog. So what do we do first? Question, why is the family smiling? What's the second thing we do? We look at the scene. What's happening at the scene? Who is there? Well, we see a family, right? We see four people. So where are they? 
They are at a park, right? Or maybe at a field. Is it a nice day? Is it bright? Meaning there's lots of sun. Oh, we see some clouds, but the sky is blue. Okay, so why do you think the family is smiling? Think of cause and effect. Cause is the action. Think of because in the sentence. And then the effect is the outcome, the noun. Okay, so why is the family smiling? That's right, because they are having a picnic. Who's doing this fabulously? I know you are. Why is the family looking at the sky? I'll give you a hint. Okay, so what kind of day of the year is this? Give it a hint. It's a summer scene. Correct. It's July 4th, Independence Day in the United States. Are there any other fireworks anywhere else? Put it down in the comments if you wish to. So what's the first thing that we should be doing? Why is the family looking at the sky? We ask questions. Then what do we do? We look at the scene. I gave you a hint before it was July 4th, Independence Day. And what's happening here? I think I gave you the answer. So why is the family looking at the sky? There's an airplane. They are watching the stars or they are watching the fireworks. Think of cause and effect. Why is the family looking at the sky? Think of effect two. The family is looking at the sky because they are watching the fireworks. How are you doing? You're getting better and stronger. Okay. Why is the dog running? He is fetching the stick. He saw a squirrel. He saw another dog. So what's the first thing we do? Ask questions. Why is the dog running? What's the second thing we do? That's right, we look at the scene. And what's happening in the scene? Let's look at the events, the picture. Well, we see grass. We see a boy in shorts. It might be a little chilly because he's wearing a sweater or a jacket. And we see our happy dog because he has his tongue out, right? And he's happy and he's running. And we see other people, one on a bicycle, one walking. Hmm, maybe this is not summer after all. Well, it could be, could be a cold summer. So where do you think they are? Are they at the park, at a field? It looks like a nice day. So why is the dog running? We have to think about what? That's right, the cause and effect. So is the effect the dog is running or is the cause the dog is running? I'm giving you bonus questions. Uh-oh. So the cause would be he is fetching the stick, the action, the cause. And what would the outcome be? The outcome would be the effect. Why is the dog running? Now let's answer the question completely. Why is the dog running? The dog is running because he is fetching the stick. Great job. We got some more practice because you want to be experts in cause and effect with summer scenes. Why is the girl sad? She forgot her money. Her ice cream fell. She is lost. What is the first thing we do? Question it. Why is the girl sad? What's the second thing we do? We look at the scene. Okay. 
We're looking at the scene. We have to look at everything here. We see grass. We see a sad girl. Why is she sad? She has tears on her face, okay? And her mouth, she has an upside down smile, okay? Where's the ice cream? <gasps> Uh-oh. So why is the girl sad? Think of cause and effect, okay? Why is the girl sad? Her ice cream fell. So what's the cause? Her ice cream fell. What is the effect? Why is the girl sad? The girl is sad. So how do we make this a complete sentence? Let's answer the question. Why is the girl sad? The girl is sad because her ice cream fell. You're doing fabulously. I'm so proud of you. We have more. Now we might go a little faster. Why is the girl sad? We have two sad girls. Okay, what's the first thing we do? Ask questions. Why is the girl sad? What's the second thing we do? We look at the scene. Now, what are the possibilities? Well, the girl is sad. Why is she sad? It's raining, she is late, or her flip-flop broke. Okay, let's look at the scene. What's going on here? Here we go. Think of cause and effects. So why is the girl sad? The girl is sad. Would that be the cause or the effect? Okay, so now we know the cause. The cause is her flip-flop broke. Okay, catching on. So how would we make this a complete sentence? The girl is sad because her flip-flop broke. Woohoo! Okay, you're noticing cause is in the red, and we can also say, all right, because her flip-flop broke. Now we know it's cause, it's the outcome. The girl is sad. That would be the effect. What is happening? The girl is sad. Oh no. Okay, getting it. Woohoo! Why are the children swimming? It is raining, it is hot, it is snowing. First thing we do, that's right, ask questions. Why are the children swimming? What's the second thing we do? That's right, we look at the scene. So what are we supposed to think about? That's right, cause and effect. What's the cause? It's red, so we know there has to be because in the sentence because we're going to make a complete sentence and answering the question. And the effect would be the outcome, the noun, okay? So why are the children swimming? It is hot. So what's the effect? The children are swimming. How do we answer this question completely? The children are swimming because it is hot. How simple is this? Yes. Uh-oh, we have more. Why is the boy happy? What's the first thing we do? That's right, we ask questions. Why is the boy happy? Second thing we do, that's right, we look at the scene. What do we think about? Cause and effect, the relationship with the summer scene, okay? Why is the boy happy? The cause is what? He is riding his bike. What's the effect? The effect is the boy is happy. Now, how do we answer the question fully using the word because? The boy is happy because he is riding his bike. You're doing fabulously. We have more. Why is the boy scared? What's the first thing we do? We ask it again. Why is the boy scared? What's the second thing we do? That's right. We look at the scene. Uh-oh. Why is the boy scared? What do we think about? That's right. Cause and effect. What is creating the events? What is creating it? 
What is the outcome? Okay, so what do we think about? What is the cause? There's a shark. <gasps> what is the effect? The boy is scared. How do we make this a complete sentence answering the question, why is the boy scared? The boy is scared because there is a shark. How are you doing? We're getting happier, right? We're becoming masters. Voila, we're done. Congratulations. Woohoo! We just learned summer cause and effect scene and questions. So what does cause and effect mean? Yes, it's the relationship between things or events. But because we're using summer scene, what would this answer be? What would be the definition for cause and effect? That's right, bingo. It would be the relationship between the events, the scene, the site, the location. Thank you everyone again, and I'm so proud of you. And until next time, wait until the safety one.